Oh my goodness, this was not where I was planning on starting this vlog. I'm currently unboxing loads of my P.O. Box stuff and oh, there's not a note. Why is there no note in this? Oh, there is, there is. Okay, so sorry, I just have to show you what's arrived. Somebody has sent to my P.O. Box the Williams and, is it Williams and Sonoma or Williams Sonoma tea towels in sage green? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna read the note now. Dear Lydia, Ali, and little baby Moo Moo's, <laughs> your videos bring such joy. And I wanted to say thank you. You and Ali have been such an inspiration to me. Can't wait to own my own forever home. I wanted to leave you with one of my favorite quotes because it reminds me of how people expect per perfection from you and you keep doing your you no matter what they say. We have a tendency to want the other person to be a finished product while we give ourselves the grace to evolve. What a wonderful quote. Can you start Vlogmas in November? I can hardly wait for the Christmas videos. Well, <laughs> this is the last video. Is it the last video? It's the last video that will go out before I start filming for Vlogmas. So I'll have the next week's videos filmed already because just so I can get ahead, which is really exciting. But in this video, it will be a little bit Christmassy because I've done a bit of a Christmas haul and my Christmas wreath has arrived and I'm just, I'm just not waiting. I'm not waiting. Having not had a, a wreath on my door this season, there is no way that I'm waiting to put this wreath up. And I've designed this wreath in collaboration with Number no. 5 Blooms and we've actually done something really wonderful wonderful where I've paid her to create another one of my wreaths so hopefully if you guys like it you'll be quite excited about this and then we're going to be giving that to the charity place to be which help children with their mental health and they do such amazing work and so basically I'm donating one of these wreaths both um, Nicola and I from number five blooms are donating this wreath to place to be to raffle off and enter to win my exact wreath. So it's really exciting. So I thought I'd unbox that, get that out with you. So there's gonna be Christmassy stuff in this video, but Vlogmas will be starting on the 1st of December. Obviously right now, we don't know what is going on with lockdown and things like that, or whether we'll even be out and about this Christmas. So it's all a bit up in the air, but no matter what I'm doing, no matter where I am, I will be doing Vlogmas and trying my best, just make it a Vlogmas that is lovely. So yeah, it's all happening. But they've sent me sage green new tea towels. You know I have an obsession with tea towels and I ended up ordering these from the US not long ago, but I ordered them for the old color of my kitchen. This is for the new color. So I'm very, very excited by these. Thank you so much, Courtney. That is just the most thoughtful. I love how well you guys know me. Also, I've been unboxing my green set from my girl, Patricia Bright's uh, collaboration with Lavish Alice, and I'm gonna be snuggling up in this over the weekend. It is Friday at the moment, and I am gonna pick up my camera and speak to you. And do you know what? I've got something else charity related happening and it's just arrived as well so there's loads of stuff that's happening I like to kind of kick off the Christmas period since last year when I did the sleeping rough in London I have decided that every kind of Christmas time I'm gonna try and do something and it's just so happened that it's worked out with me hitting 900k on Instagram but it all will be revealed but basically a handbag which you guys know I love has just arrived I already own it so it's not for me but I am gonna be giving, oh, I'm not gonna doubt, I'm not gonna doubt you. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of this stuff unboxed from my PO box and yeah, exciting times. I'm very, very excited. So one of my chores today is to get this bedroom ready and it's one of Ali's chores apparently because I was, oh, we're very blue because none of Ali's B stuff is supposed to still be in here because we need this bedroom back. I've got Carrie coming to stay with Bolly. Obviously, you know, Carrie is part of our bubble because she lives by herself. And Bolly's coming over to stay because we are getting Lumi more used to having him around, fingers crossed. And might have sold Ali on the idea a little bit more. <laughs> um, so yeah, I've got to get this room sorted. I'm also working my way through more washing as well. I'm just always doing washing. This boot area is just so practical. <laughs> 
Um, and then we're going to get the house sorted. And basically, what I am going to be going through with you, in fact, funnily enough that those seeds have arrived, is a lot of my Christmas decorations that I've been stocking up on have arrived as well. And because I'm going for a more natural theme this year, um, I'm gonna be opening those with you. They're ones that you can order online. They're all kind of from Amazon as well, which is super practical. But yeah, I just think that this, have I shown you this? I can't, I've just shown it on my stories. No, I haven't shown you this. <laughs> I've shown it on my home account stories. But basically, this has just arrived from My Green Christmas. And these are an assortment of crackers that come with seeds to plant. I mean, I just, I don't even know how to deal with this. But not just that, and this is the thing that I really, really love, is these Christmas cards. They also come with packets of seeds in them ready to plant. And I just think that this is adorable. And I actually really like the designs on them. Sometimes I find Christmas illustrations a bit tacky, but these are so tastefully done. I love the sage green ribbons. And this is something that I would totally, had I had known about it, have bought myself. So I'm really, really grateful to the company for sending it to me and putting uh, their business on my radar because I had no idea about this and this is genius. It makes me very, very happy. Today is all about planning, judging the house and getting prepped because next weekend is the weekend where it is all systems our go for Christmas decorations and I'm very excited. Ali and I will start getting the trees down on the Friday and then it will be decorating all weekend and it's very, very, very exciting. I actually can't believe what our hallway looks like at the moment. That is a handbag. That's our new wallpaper. This is our wreath. That's for Ali. This is a load of boxes left over. This is a Christmas haul. Like there's just boxes everywhere. We are in the midst of having a huge sort out as well because I need to sort out and file everything in what is a storage room at the moment because I've had confirmation today that our home office will be finished in time for Christmas. And I think for the most part, that is kind of my priority, that one room, because it's in the main living area of the house. We really need it to be functional. When no one's here, we kind of live in our dressing rooms, the kitchen, our room and the lounge and it would be the office as well. And so I'm so excited. I'm gonna find out more about everything in a couple of weeks time. But yeah, apparently they're gonna have it done in time for Christmas. I don't know how they're gonna do that, but I'm looking forward to finding out. <laughs> but in this video as well, I get to reveal something that I have been working on behind the scenes and you have been watching me working on it but um, you haven't known about it. And basically I have been putting together an edit of wines with Virgin Wines and this is the finished box that I am going to be unboxing and storing away in time for Christmas, but also the run up to Christmas as well. And this is going to be something that you are able to shop as well. I'm gonna pop you up there. So, to tell you a little bit more about what is inside this box. So, I've teamed up with Virgin Wines, the number one drinks retailer in the UK, and that is what Virgin Wines is all about. Now, as you know, I have just fallen head over heels in love with discovering wine, and I honestly, I don't really drink anything else at the moment. I am just, I love a glass of wine, and I love a glass of good wine, and one of their kind of mottos is life is too short for boring wine. And I can honestly say that I stand by that. I'm super lucky to have a best friend that knows pretty much all there is to know about wine. Like she can look at a wine and know how old it is. She can pick out every single flavor in it and she's like been teaching me this stuff, which is something that I have just loved and I'm so grateful to her. And so she's obviously helped me on this box as well and we've done it together, but this has been our, our little kind of labor of love over the last few months. And within this are 12 bottles of wine that the two of us have hand picked together. We've sampled, we've enjoyed them as friends and we are hoping that you guys are going to enjoy them over the Christmas period as well. So Virgin Champion Independent Vineyards and businesses and so you're really kind of getting uh, bottles of wine that you may not have seen before and experiencing these really beautiful independent businesses that maybe don't get picked over you know your usuals like your whispering angels and things like that you get to really kind of discover these niche 
brands and I think it's just wonderful and I know that I have found some of my favourite wines that now sit within this box and it's really really exciting. It's also really exciting for me to partner up on something like this. So obviously the content of this box is strictly for over 18 but I, I just think that so many of you are going to love what's in here. We've got rosés, we've got whites, we've got New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs, we've got some really beautiful red wines to drink at, you know, by the fire this time of year. I obviously love quite smoky wines, so there'll be some of those in there as well. So the RRP on this box is £139.88 and actually the discounted price that we've kind of worked together to put together for you guys is £95.88 and um, that's such a great saving. You don't just get the 12 bottles of wine that are in here, you also get two glasses. So whether it's just you and your partner or it's you and your best friend or you and your housemate or you and your mum or you and your dad or whoever, you can also get more glasses if you want, um, but they are obviously additional. And you can enjoy it with them. And I honestly think that like having an evening with a cheese board, you know that Ali and I love doing that, a cheese board with um, lots of picky things like we go and get the cheese twists from Waitrose and we get all of the good condiments and charcuteries, is that how you say it? Charcuteries? Um, and put them together and do like a little picky grazing table. In fact, I'll insert a picture of one of the ones that I put up when we were tasting not long ago. And I, I love it. And it's such a great way, especially now when we're not allowed to go out to do these kinds of things, to bring that kind of experience and that fun, way of responsibly drinking and tasting and finding what you like in wine and discovering wines it's just it's something that i have become really really passionate about so to be able to to like do this with a brand like virgin wines is really really cool and in doing this you can download their app and they learn what your flavor profile is and then they make recommendations of other vineyards and they're still all just really really cool and so i'm i'm excited for this and i hope that there's a lot of fellow wine lovers out there that enjoy making a saving on really, really good wine. So I hope that you are going to enjoy this and I hope that if you do purchase the um, box, you will tag me in your stories and show me because I feel like we'll be doing it all together then. And you know, you can wear your bougie Christmas pajamas or whatever it is you're doing and we can kind of have like a little bit of a wine tasting together because I would love, even if you know, you're like me and you didn't really know anything about wine, and then now you're looking to discover, hopefully within here, you will find some beautiful bottles of wine um, that you can enjoy. So sorry if I've rambled on. I know that usually with like paid partnerships and things like that, you kind of want to keep it a little bit short, but I'm really excited about this and I'm also really passionate about it. And I, I just, I've got a lot to say. And so I hope that you enjoy it. I'm going to show you some of the bottles as well. I don't think I'll go through all 12. Maybe I will, who knows? But I'll pick out like my heroes from it. But the saving on this, for really good wine is is pretty pretty special, so I hope you enjoy it. Anyway, let's get these bottles out and chilling. So these are the two elegance wine glasses that you will receive in your box. I'll put them back in for no. Now we have the Black Pig. This was a Shiraz that I absolutely loved, and I really really loved the branding of it as well. In fact, both Ali and I loved the bottle and also the wine that was inside of it. And I think that this was just such a lovely one. This was one that I continued pouring myself whilst I was sitting by the fire and just enjoying. And it's really great to have like a nice red wine for this time of year. Probably not too fruity. Like I love a fruity one every now and again for like one glass. I think something that's got a little bit more depth. Um, I just love that smoky tone to my red wines. And so especially at this time of year, this one is such a good one. So that's that one. And what do we have? Oh, I hand picked this. I really wanted to include a pale rose because I think that roses and pale roses are really what got me uh, into wine in the beginning. And I think that they're always such a crowd pleaser. And even though I tend to drink them a little bit more in the summertime, it's always good to include. They're kind of like the one that, that gets most people into drinking wine and enjoying wine. And then they probably move on to their like New Zealand Sauvignon Blancs, which are really like fruity. And you start being able to acknowledge like the notes and things like that. And this was definitely what got me into it. Also, <laughs> I just really enjoy it in the summertime and especially on holiday. Drinking a pale rosé in somewhere like Ibiza just, oh, it's just my dream. So I wanted to include a pale rosé in this and this one is absolutely delicious. In fact, Carrie even enjoyed this one and Carrie is not a rosé drinker, but she would definitely enjoy this with me. 
So we also wanted to include a sparkling wine as well. Now, I really do enjoy like a champagne and things like that, but I also find that I enjoy a sparkling wine, especially one that's like really quite light and you, you can kind of drink all evening long. Especially for us, we at Christmas time tend to drink uh, champagne throughout the day and sometimes it can it can be a bit too much for me and so something a little bit lighter is just wonderful and so we wanted to include one of those as well. We have of course a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. This was beautiful. I really really wasn't thinking that I was going to find something um, like a New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc that I loved and honestly the flavour profile matched what I like perfectly and this is the Kahaka. I think you would have seen us tasting this one and it is beautiful i love the bottle of it as well i'm really I, I like quite beautiful bottles as well because for me wine is like a full 360 experience from the taste of the wine to the food to the smells um to the visuals as well that's all part of it and so for me i i love this so anyway these are some of the bottles that i that i picked and i'm gonna do a full breakdown in a blog post i think about why i liked each individual bottle because I, I really kind of want to be able to put down my thoughts and because this is a new thing for me I'm wanting to, to get my words out right so I'll definitely go through each of the 12 bottles in a blog post so that it helps you guys a little bit more on um, that one because we've got all of the notes from the tasting but I will link down below where you can shop for this box and hopefully you can make a great saving on your wine stocks for Christmas this this year and i hope that you enjoy it and i hope that we're out of lockdown as well so that you can maybe have a few more friends around and make it a really social experience because we all deserve it okay we all deserve it <laughs> but i always like to give you all of the details of what is the savings on the box and i have the world's worst memory so just to let you know that you're saving 30 percent off a luxury 12 bottle selection of boutique quality craft wines and they're worth £139.88 and they're now only £7.99 per bottle which is brilliant like some of the bottles that I buy end up being like £18 so that's such a great price for each individual bottle and the glasses in there alone are £18 so um, that's a saving in itself as well and you also have the option to upgrade to the Virgin Wine Bank Club as well and that will actually discount the box down to £83.88 so it's even more of a saving so if you sign up to that you can get a little bit more kind of saved on there and that would make a saving of 40% so I mean if you're just a wine lover in general you'll know that that's a great saving when it comes to wine so yeah i just wanted to make sure you had all of the information because um my brain goes into like overdrive and it's important to me that i get the, the the talking points um across so but i'll put everything in the description box down below so that you've got it are you excited to see our wreath i am so this is the wreath that you guys are going to be able to win. Not the exact wreath, because this one's going on my door, but Nika has made another one, basically. Oh, Hallie, she's got a mouse. Oh gosh, put it down. Yes. <laughs> Hallie just caught a mouse with his bare hands. <laughs> Hello, Stewie. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Well done, Nami, for keeping it alive. Well done, Nami. Well done, Ali. Well done, Ali, for also catching yeah, it. Thank you for keeping bringing me there. It's very naughty. So, this entire wreath is inspired by where we live. And that is... Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. That is basically what the theme of our Christmas decorations are going to be this year. Oh my goodness, babe. Wow, look at this. So we've got the feather, fe pheasant feathers from our garden. Amazing. We've got a little bit of like depth in there from like to, just to bring that sort of richness of the colour around this time of year. We've got yeah. pine cones, we've got hydrangea, we've got eucalyptus, we've even got the little thistly things. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm, I just love it. She's done so well. So this is the wreath that you are going to be able to win. At, not you. Not you. Not you. <laughs> Nobby. <laughs> She'll curl up in there. She always wants to be the centre of attention. Oh my God, it's absolutely perfect. Oh my goodness. Oh, 
Has it got string on it? It's got string, so we put it straight up, babe. Okay, let's get this up then. Come on. Yep. Okay, Ali has secured the new pin since we repainted the front door. <laughs> Perfect. You want it that high? Yeah. You can make it longer with the string. How come the string's there on the bow? It's supposed to be off to the side. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks so lovely. You, you want it that high? I think that that doesn't look too bad. It can come down a little bit though. Oh yeah, it'll get come down a little bit. Ali's just lengthened the cord on the wreath. I'm gonna show you it in more detail in the morning because it's obviously dark and you can't necessarily see how beautiful the colors are. I'm also gonna be posting a picture on my Instagram. Oh, look at it. Just straightening up the pheasant feathers. Carrie's bedroom is all set, ready to go. I've literally just been rushing around the house all evening and making everything nice. I'm just finishing off the last wash loads in here. I'm gonna wash Bolly's blanket for him so it's nice and fresh and clean. I think in here will be good for him because it's nice and warm. So I've popped his bed and his toys in here. It's all looking rather nice. I've decided that we've opened up the wreath today, so I'm gonna open up the Christmas decorations with you tomorrow and start planning. However, I have just had the delivery of dreams arrive. In this box is the finishing piece to my wedding stack. So if you don't know, my wedding ring is a Tiffany ring and so is my wedding band. And then I basically kind of gave it a bit of a zhuzh with my anniversary gift from Ali, which was this chupi tiara ring, like a crown ring. I saw it when I was in Ireland on the trip with Carrie and I had been a fan of chupi. I'm talking to you like this, but I had been a fan of chupi for so, so long. And um, I've got quite a few of their pieces now. I even bought Carrie a ring for her birthday. Was it Christmas? No, it's her birthday the year before last, I think. Was it? I can't remember what I bought her for, bought her it for, um, but she's got one. And I always wanted to have another crown ring here so that it's almost like symmetrical to finish off the stack. And I do actually need to get my engagement ring resized because my cheapy ones fit me perfectly. Unfortunately, my actual engagement ring is a little bit too big and so it always constantly turns and so it never looks how I want it to. But in here is my finishing cheapy crown. It's on the Hawthorne band, which is my absolute favorite. Like it is just so rustic and like earthy and I just, oh, I'm li literally their biggest fan. So they contacted me which was just like unreal. And honestly, if you're looking to support like a, an independent business this year and you want something like sparkly, then there's quite a few few jewelers that I love and diamond places that I love. But Chupi is just one of those ones that's just a little bit different. If you like the more sort of imperfect style of diamond and imperfect style of band, then absolutely check these out. It's very different to like a lot of things that I've seen, but you know, I'm a fan of diamonds. <laughs> so, dear Lydia, I hope you adore the Crown of Hope ring. I can't wait to see your ring stack. So this was sent to me by the brand, and as usual, I'm, I'm a customer first, so I bought my first one, and this is just something that they asked if they could send out to me, and so obviously I'm very grateful <laughs> for this, and I actually can't believe it, but very excited about this. I love the packaging as well for like engagement rings and things like that. Cheapy is just unreal. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Look at this. This in itself would make the most beautiful wedding band or engagement band. Like you don't have to upgrade your stack the way that I do. I just love a stacked ring, but they do the most beautiful solitaire diamonds and sat in front of this, it would just be the absolute dream. And, oh my God, I'm gonna put it on. I don't even know, I couldn't remember my size, so did I get, I got it right. They are exactly the same size. <sighs> so I'm gonna put the new one on, and then I'm gonna put my wedding band on, which is the, the Tiffany princess cut band. And then I've got my Tiffany princess cut solitaire. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is, the ultimate stack. I so need to have my diamonds cleaned because all it is doing now is showing up how 
much they need to be cleaned because my cheapy ring is so perfect. Look at this stack. Look at that. Oh my goodness. And I love that I can like change it and take it back to something like slightly more classic, but I can also have this complete and utter wow stack. Oh my goodness. My new wedding stack. Oh, the dream. Do you know what? I actually think the other one's a bit bigger. I might swap it around actually. Hold on. So I think the other one's slightly bigger, which obviously not complaining about. Maybe it's because it's sparklier. I don't know. Let's see how it looks. One thing that I've like, it's a promise that I've made to myself is every time I visit Ireland, now I'm going to leave with a piece of chupy jewelry because I feel like I need to take a part of Ireland back with me every single time I go. And we would have been going again this year, but sadly, obviously COVID means I'm not. Yeah, that's my, that's always been my little thing that I've wanted to do. Look. Oh, wow. Well, thank you so much, Chupi. You know I'm your biggest fan, so yeah. <laughs> Body come. Good boy. Bolly, good boy. Good morning, everyone. It is the darkest, most miserable but cozy Saturday. As you saw, we have been for a walk with Bolly already this morning. We went out eight o'clock this morning and we took him for an hour's walk, which was very, very long and he completely crashed when we got back and I gave him a bath and it was lovely. To let you know how things went with Lumi, they went better than I could have ever have like expected because it's a bit weird because Lumi doesn't really go down there and Bolly was never up here. So we've had a few evenings, obviously like pre-lockdown, where they would kind of chill in the living room and fall asleep, but it was almost like we didn't pay too much attention to it. But now that we're at this sort of point, it was really good to see that Lumi's temperament didn't change. Like even when Bolly chased her, I think the only time she really kind of hissed at him was when he literally like bounded on top of her we were able to stroke Lumi so she she becomes so agitated when there are another cats around that you can't even stroke her without her growling and she's very like twitchy and and you can't really give her any affection <laughs> but she was perfectly fine Bolly ended up falling asleep in the lounge again she was asleep in the lounge she didn't run off and go out and so it was really really positive so I think um, Ali and I have had a few chats and um, well, we're gonna continue to have have some chats and just see what we think, but it looks promising. It does, makes me very excited. And I was just, I kept looking at her, I was like, I can't believe it, like she's absolutely fine. So it was really, really nice. And then taking Bolly for a walk this morning and giving him a little bath, it was lovely. I'm just washing his blanket now. And I've been giving the house a little bit of a tidy as well, doing the washing. But I think it's about time that we start thinking about Christmas because, you know, I'm just completely preoccupied within my mind. And I need to sort of tell you about the plans and show you the wreath because this morning the wreath looks amazing. It really, really does. But what we're planning to do is thread the same details from the wreath I'm hoping to have a sort of display on the island here and then also onto the table and make sure that we've got sort of like a festive tablescape. I am keeping all of my fingers and toes crossed for life after lockdown. Before Christmas, it will have friends over and it will be the season of good cheer. Um, I also want to do quite an elaborate sort of garland over the fire. I don't know how it will work because obviously I don't want it to, to burn because of the fire. I also don't want it to block the, the TV. So I imagine something kind of full over to one side. So it will sort of get bigger and, and taper up to something a bit more elaborate on one side. I'm not really for, for symmetry in this area. It's quite symmetrical, but like we've dressed the alcoves differently because I don't know, it just, it makes sense to me that there are elements of symmetry and then elements of, is it asymmetry? I don't know. Um, so yeah, I like the idea of it sort of being bigger on one side and I will show you the wreath, which is looking very nice, but it is very wet and windy outside. So I'll probably only be able to show you the actual wreath and I won't be able to tell you much, but I'm soggy anyway from my walk. So all is not lost. That is 
the wreath on the door. I need to be careful with our pheasant feathers though, that they don't blow away. Oh, it just, it looks so nice against the pigeon door as well. I'm just in love with it. Anyway, it's freezing out here, so let's get inside. These boxes have actually been sat under the stairs for ages because I've been waiting to open them with you. These are a lot of the natural and quite rustic decorations that I found online. A lot of them are from eBay. Some of them I got from John Lewis. There's some baubles in there because we have some kind of like keepsake baubles as well, like ornaments and stuff. So I thought I would get into them because we are going to be getting a lot of the decorations sorted and then next week is the decorating for the house. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. A glass of wine and just enjoy decorating the house, I think. So in this box we have, what do we have? Ah, these were um, some burlap bows that I found online. So instead of trying to make the bows myself, which I think I have done before, I decided to buy these because I think that they still add that little feel of rusticness but still being a little bit formal, which I quite like. So let's have a look at one of these. They come with their own little ties as well to tie them onto the trees. But I love, love, love burlap on my trees. I just think that it suits the house really well with a lot of the like textures that we've got around with the rattan and the duped carpet but I'll obviously judge these a little bit but they just look so cute you can even put them in your hair they're so nice yeah I love those so I bought two packets of those because obviously we have four or five trees I need to speak to Ali actually because the tree that we've got in our living room is actually a bit small so we could get a bigger one. We tend to put it on a box and raise it up, but we could get a bigger one and we could sell the smaller one, but I'll speak to Ali about that. These ones I actually opened um, when I was looking for some props for my uh, Madonna IG reels. And I don't know how these are gonna be, but these are, oh, I do quite like them, you know. These are little rusted stars. Can you see that? It's got quite a lot of warmth to them, but they're just, they're basically like metal rusted stars. And I really loved the texture of them. And I think that they could like warm up the decorations really well. There's a whole bag of them. I didn't quite realize how many like they are. Nice like um, natural feel again. And so you don't have to worry about them rusting because they're already rusted. <laughs> they also come with some twine if you want to tie them onto the tree, but I generally prefer something a little bit more subtle than twine to try and tie things on with because it gets a bit too busy, I think. The first of the John Lewis orders. I can't even, this was so long ago that I started buying decorations and I've saved them for you. I'm so good. The, the restraint that I show in saving things to show you. Oh yes. So I found this little pheasant bauble which I thought could be our um, ornament of the year because last year we got the white owl from ochre and I saw this and I thought that is a nice little touch there I like the feathers on them and then this like I kind of want there to be little pieces of um like our lives on our trees and obviously Ali and I got engaged at Christmas time and we got married at Christmas time. And I saw this really cute bauble that is of a, like a, a ring box. And I liked the fact that it was in a black box. So again, that is that more neutral coloring, but I just thought it was nice. And then I stocked up on these. I had these last year and they were amazing. Um, if you don't have uh, real trees, which we don't have real trees because Lumi climbs them and they're just a mess and by the time you actually get to Christmas if you want to get any kind of like longevity out of your tree it's dead it's dead by Christmas so um, we opt for the the balsam hill we bought them about coming up to three years ago now I think or two years ago so in order to get that Christmas tree smell they have these little sticks that you can hang and I really kind of push them into the tree so you can't see them, but the smell really like comes out of them and fills the, the space. So this time I went for Christmas tree. That's what this one is called. And it smells like really sort of fresh pine, piney kind of color. And then I wanted this one to actually, actually spiced pine cones. So I was hoping that this is gonna be like winter. It is. 
a bit sweeter. But I got two of each of those for the trees. Oh, these were some extra pheasant feathers that I found on Amazon. So if you are wanting to add pheasant feathers to your tree, we've kind of mixed in ones that we find where we live. You can literally pick these up on Amazon as well. Oh, I do love pheasant feathers, they're so pretty. So I'm gonna save those. I'm gonna keep them in this just so that they are safe. Right, what have we got in here? Aha, so I bought some of these as well. So I thought these might look quite nice on the tree. Maybe I um, bought too many, <laughs> but it's just these dried orange slices and I thought that I could attach these to the tree as well. I always like them on Christmas tablescapes and things like that. So I bought some of those anyway because they'll, they make good little decoration sort of like accents. Again, they, those are from Amazon, so a really easy like next day delivery. A little bit more color than I usually have, but I love these knitted baubles. And they've got that Fair Isle kind of knit detailing to it. So a little bit of traditional in there, but we go for sort of different themes on certain trees. And I thought I'd test them out and I can always order more if I need them for the trees, but we'll see, we'll see how we go with that. What is this? Oh, this was just stocking up on some more burlap ribbon because obviously I use this also to decorate the trees and um, kind of, what's the word? Taper down the trees so you can get loads of different thicknesses of burlap ribbon on Amazon as well. And then we've got a big John Lewis box that's actually very light. So, oh yes. So these are some more ornaments, I think. I've been spending too much time with Ali. These were some really beautiful bird ornaments with feathers on them as well. So there's definitely a theme. <laughs> this might have to be the kitchen tree because um, obviously that's where we see all the birds from our kitchen dining table on the bird feeder. But yeah, I got a couple of boxes of those because you get four in a box. So that was what was from John Lewis. I'm gonna keep this John Lewis box to house everything in. This is from Rowan and Wren. I ordered these weeks ago and I actually saw um, Lauren, the lady that's helping me finish the house. She posted them, I was like, I've literally ordered those for my tablescape. But these are some really lovely aged brass candlesticks. So it keeps, it keeps the sort of area across the table at a nice low level but also brings some nice um, candle light to the table because I always like that. So I think I bought these from Not On The High Street. Might have been right. So they're all sort of different, different sizes. There's like three different sizes. So I bought two of each so that you can stagger them over the table. This was probably my little favorite one. And then this is the taller one. Definitely going to get very skinny candles for these. I have to look and see where you can get those types of candles. Wasn't expecting them to be this small though. Interesting. I'll have to look online. They might have to go back if they're too small. Aha, and the pine cones. I ordered lots and lots of pine cones and they come pre-threaded so they're really easy to add to the tree. I literally ordered so many of these. Oh, I love it when you put something in a box and you can see all of the colors looking really nice uh, next to each other. I like that. These were some pumpkins that I saw on Amazon. I'm not too keen on the orange one, but I love these Hessian pumpkins. Obviously, I just love all of the jute and burlap and all of the things like that. So um, I'm gonna save these for next year because I really liked those. I just didn't particularly like the orange ones. <laughs> Might paint them though instead just so that I'm not wasting them. Really fighting the urge to start decorating. Well, I think they definitely work well. Obviously, this is not a um, finished table centerpiece at all, um, but I just wanted to see for sizing, but I think that they will work really well. If not, I actually think that these could replace, they could look very nice on the mantelpiece with candles in. Ooh, I like it. Good morning from a very, very sunny England. Wowzers, that sun is blinding, my goodness. 
you have your official member of the Hun Bun Society back. We have a hair up situation because tomorrow is Monday and I am fully intending on going on a run tomorrow. So there's no point in me washing my hair today. So hair is going up in a bun and yesterday I wasn't much more presentable to be perfectly honest with you. We spent the day organising and I mean we had such a big organise. We ended up getting the future study which actually doesn't look that organised now but it will. Um, this is ready for the redecoration in here which we're really really excited about. We sold loads of things and organised loads of things and just kind of delegated things. I don't know whether it's just me but I find organisation and like really sort of throwing myself at organizing really therapeutic like weirdly therapeutic and we did it until about nine o'clock last night we even had a bit of a clear out in the loft we got all of our trees down as you know we've got our balsam hill trees we've got our old tree from our other house which we actually still use um but it's definitely not as good quality as the the balsam hill ones we've got our i think it's a nine foot tree in our kitchen we may get another one we're not sure these are all of the baubles and decorations decorations I'm always so proud of myself every year when we get them down because I am so organized <laughs> and today we are tackling other areas of the house because we are just on a bit of a roll I even organized my little like faffing cupboard where I keep all of like my floral displays and like stems and things like that and put lots of pieces for sale on my home account. We have sold a number of things. It's funny though, because most of the people that wanted to buy them were actually my friends. <laughs> it's really funny. But yeah, so we've got rid of the majority of things. Now I'm tackling the downstairs bathroom, which I believe is actually going to be changed into a wine storage area. I was thinking about making it in the hallway, but we're, we're still having discussions on where it's gonna go. So I'm gonna be getting out bits of furniture. and Basically, I'm breaking Lauren's balls. I'm like, do we need to keep this or shall I sell it? Um, and she's like no we won't use that and it's like it's really good to like bounce off and know what is in her kind of head I enjoyed a few glasses of Le Trois Clés the uh, 2019 reserve this is in my box that you can buy and I very much enjoyed a couple of glasses of that which was lovely nice way to just keep you going and um, make it a little bit interesting I think Ali was drinking beer um, this morning I've cleaned the kitchen and now I am ready to move downstairs one of the things that I need to message to Lauren today is our old mirror I'm sure loads of you will remember this from our old house this was in our hallway this was my parents mirror it's so old and beautiful but it's been painted and I kind of want to somehow restore it at the moment it's kind of like a baby blue like duck egg blue kind of shade I'd love to restore this and use this somewhere it is so old I think it's like it must be nearly 60 years old now and um, so I'm gonna message a picture of this to Lauren as well and just get organizing I am honestly like just wrapped up nice and cozy I've got my shuffle gilet on I've got an Intimus me like base layer roll neck. I've got Tala leggings on and some walking socks basically because we are practical and that is what we need to be today. So we have a new member of staff starting on Monday, so that's tomorrow. And I've just been getting all of the stuff that's on Depop organized and on a rail for the girls so it's easier. Ali also put up our new whiteboard. This is to help us with planning uh, Vlogmas content. Hello. Yeah. So Ali has taken over the responsibilities of this room because what's this that's on? The Formula One is on and we are organizing all of our alcohol. We are actually trying to get everything put away and organized. I promise you, once all of this COVID stuff is, is over, we are gonna have one hell of a party because we have a lot of alcohol that needs to be drank. Obviously this room has not been decorated, so this is all still very much like the original uh, look of this room, but this will be changing. We have big plans. I am tackling this room here because there is a lot of stuff that we need to sort out. I'm pretty sure as the more work that I do, the bigger that these little guys get. They just stick out more and more. All of this stuff is now organized for the girls. And if you look through there, you can see what resembles a bathroom. So we've had a huge clear out from there, huge clear out of our computer server room. We haven't 
finished the bar yet that's something that we've decided that we're going to do together because as you can see the alcohol levels are ridiculous um, we want to have a restyle of the shelves and just get this place looking as nice as possible we have also had a bit of a rethink um, with regards to Lumi because we were feeding her in two places in the house and the reason why that was was because we used to have to hide her food from Lynx because Lynx would eat her food so we would feed her in the bathroom and then sometimes in the kitchen we've completely scrapped that now her little cat drawer has been cleaned out we have gained some space and we have decided in preparation for any sort of life changes that we might end up doing we oh this is such a mess this room i'm in the middle of like sorting all of this out but we have moved her stuff here so she'll be having her dinner on this surface up here and then i've given her a little organized that's Bolly's food up there and all of her cat food and bits in here and they all fit really nicely and then her bowls will just stack up there as well so it's um a little bit more organized and it means that it doesn't make our kitchen look disgusting and smell disgusting as well pardon the background noise we have had the golf on all blooming day in this room but we have had the biggest sort out and everything just looks so much better just so much less cluttered um, we need to do something with this coffee machine because it's the one i bought ali for his birthday all of my wine is stacked in here well it's actually that is not all of my wine we've got rosé at the bottom reds in the middle uh, champagnes and sparkling wines at the top then i've got my fancy champagnes in this wine fridge this is from capel this wine fridge and honestly it never works we've had them out like five times it's just so annoying so at the moment as you can see it is not working so my fancy champagnes are actually warm <laughs> we have gins all of our different uh batches of gins in here we have non-alcoholic gins down there and then we've got like rums and whiskies and vodkas and things like that in here we were just saying that when all this is over, we are gonna have one hell of a party down there because we're gonna be decorating next year, so we might as well trash it. This is where we are at with the bathroom. I've got a couple of things in here. Those orchids I'm selling. I actually really don't like orchids. <laughs> they remind me of really posh London hotels and that's not what I want my house to feel like. And this is obviously where the, what's it called? The, hopefully the wine storage. I'm gonna need a lot more wine, but I'm literally moving that way at the moment. So that is all sorted down there. I've organized the office. We're having a little bit of a um, bonfire in the garden, just burning some documents and stuff. Um, utility is looking the best that it can possibly look at the moment, but Lumi is all set up in here, which is fabulous. I am now gonna make hot chocolates. We are gonna head outside and we are going to enjoy the rest of our Sunday because it is eight o'clock. I go to bed in an hour. <laughs> no, I don't, I go to bed in about an hour to two hours. I actually haven't stopped. I wonder how many steps I've done today. Ooh, 12,000 steps and I haven't left my house. <laughs> I've done nine kilometers. Wowzers, I've smashed it. Well done me, well done me. Right, hot chocolates, that is what I am on at the moment. Pair of slippers. Yeah. No hot socks. chocolate. Oh. Chucky. With a hot chocolate. I've got one sock on so I can tell the difference. <laughs> it's so amazing when you see this light up. Once you go past the fire, look, watch, babe. And it just lights up. 